So basically what Miss Tate's had us do is she's had us make a biographical sketch of a person living during the Great Depression and what their life is like, where they live, and how old they are. And after that she's making us write, or she's having us write a journal, three journal entries um, from the point of view of that person about federal policies that are being acted upon and taking place during their time period and how it affects their everyday lives. Basically, our research project is about, like Joey said, our biographical sketch. Um, we have to kind of like make a journal entry about our, or something that relates to our character, which you could be like a farmer or someone who works in like maybe the city. But basically, she's just trying to get us to like relate with the people during the Great Depression times. And it's, for some of them, it was really hard, and for some of them, it was kind of easier. But I think that this project can help us learn a lot about the Great Depression. So what's your character's name? Um, James Byerly. Which is, where do they live? Um, well, I'm 19 years old, and I live in New York, but my family lives in Minnesota. I left Minnesota because of rugged individualism. So I want to feel like I'm in control of my soul. Um, the Social Security Act. It helped. It's helping uh, with my family in California because they moved up there from the Dust Bowl. Uh, well, the Federal Housing Administration would help my guy because he's living on the streets and he needs somewhere to live. So since the FHA is giving housing standards, better conditions, and insures mortgages, it'll help him out. I uh, found the AAA, um, which was uh, to pay farmers and uh, to raise certain, or told them not to raise certain crops and livestock, uh, hoping they would lower production, which would uh, cause the prices to rise, but the Supreme Court uh, shut it down. Um, so it helped my character because uh, it forced him to uh, raise less crops, uh, but that could make him go hungry because he wasn't making as many crops and wouldn't make the money. Well, my character is a 25-year-old um, living with a little brother, so I found um, one called the Fair Labor Standards Act of 1938. And most of her family died, like, in her labor. Like, her little brothers and sisters uh -huh. got hurt, like, in incidents. So, this one is, like, really inspiring to her. The National Youth Administration, which create, uh, provided jobs for youth. And I have, my character has a nephew that needs a job because his mother's single. I'm using the Fair Labor Act because, um, I was, I'm working, my, as a mother, I'm working long hours, my character is, <laughs> I'm working long er, hours and I needed it to set a minimum of labor hours, that way I can spend time to take care of my children. The conservation of the CCC, because I'm a tourist guide at the Grand Canyon, and I think we need to conserve the Grand Canyon more. Hey, Mom. Instead of like, because people are treated as like, it's a, it's a trash can. So I think we should, they should have a program there. So I can conserve the Grand Canyon. National Recovery Act is like, help them have a low, like, uh, minimum wage kind of thing. Is that the Yeah. I did that one. I thought it could help mine because my two daughters could be affected. And then I did the Civil Works Administration <laughs> program because it could help give my mom a job. She's out of work right now.